Tonight on Big Brother. It's war. The house in uproar. There will be a mutiny, Big Brother. I will be leading that mutiny. Has Tim finally gone too far? A lot of people got quite cranky and, and Tully was so upset. Because he believes that he's stronger than all of you guys. Yeah, good it's a psychology game to him. Is he everything he seems? I know he's crafty. He's definitely manipulated. I've got to watch him. And another heart-stopping showdown. <laughs> to decide who gets saved and who gets sacrificed. Die. Yeah, how's it going, bro? Good morning, man. Boom. I can't believe I woke up next to Jade. Well, what happened was she was doing the old standard bedtime with Ed time. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It was so with Ed funny. Bed with Ed time. Bed with Ed. When we come in really late, the lights come off, she's in there still happening. And I'm like, I lean over to her, I'm like, at what point does she? I just can't get over how full on she is. Like, we were all laying there talking, like, all of us lined up, and she was getting ready. And Ed's just sitting there, like, chatting away to us, and she just goes like this. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and it was like, ah. Oh. Yeah. That's why I got one on my boyfriend. I was like, no. Linking time. Yeah. I never really look at my photos. And I'm like, are you joking? Like, there's no. Oh, do you mind if I sit here or...? Michaela told us she should go for it. <laughs> just swing for the fence. Like, to just go go hard or go home. How did you sleep, Ed? Yeah, pretty good, actually. This went straight, too. As soon as the last one out. <sighs> I didn't think it was going to be a lot, that, eh? Hey? hey? I didn't think you were going to get straight to sleep. You didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You were trying to wake me up. Hmm? No. No. I can't tell me a story. <laughs> a boy went to bed. <laughs> she, I was saying, why don't you go to sleep? Can't you go to sleep? She goes, no, I'm wide awake. And then she was trying to wake me up. Oh, you were trying to sleep when she was... Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's got himself in trouble. Oh, no, God. You, you guys are a couple now. No You're dating. What? You're going to get out soon. It's like, I can't believe you guys are dating. It's so lovely. <laughs> no, no. Happening. Either he wants her or not. But I don't think he does. Like, he's got to commit to like, either I don't not think he does. wanting like, he, it or wanting it. He wants to keep his options open. Well, we can't well, let him have a snuggle. What's but that's what I mean. I don't think it is just to snuggle Tully. Like, she actually likes him. Oh, yeah, that's obvious. But that's what I mean, like, it... I think she's, like, bloody crazy town. You love population one. <laughs> I know, that's what oh. I feel sorry oh, for. Oh, yeah. In a few hours, the house will do battle in the weekly showdown games. The winner gets to save one of the six nominated housemates and sacrifice someone in their place. I wonder if Drew won showdown, I wonder... <laughs> I wonder what would happen Save Tully. Save Tully 100%. Do you reckon? Yeah, mm -hmm. 100%. Really? What about Jade? Oh! What if... Him and Jade or Tully? Nah, he would save Tully. I'd save Jade. Tully would be disgusted in him. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, he'd, he'd feel like he had to save um, yeah, that's Tully, because if not, she would rip his head off. You want to spit? Oh no. But can you can you have a decent conversation with Jordan? Yeah. You need, you've had, I haven't I've had, had a couple with him. Yeah. Oh, you know why though? 
Half of it's because he's with Tully all the time. They Probably have... 75% of it's because he's with Tully all the time. Yeah, yeah that's the only relationship I don't, I don't understand. Like, you know, in the house, really. Is that relationship? Time? Those two. Because when he's by himself, he's real, you know, he's real chilled out. Dude. He's really nice guy. I thought they were a couple, mate. You know? Man, they that's, what off I, each other. that's what I feel like because when they're lying there, I don't want to interrupt because it's like they're... Yeah, I know. I think that's more Tully's, Tully's instigating than Drew's. She's, she, he chases her, but... Like, oh, man, I reckon if Safety didn't have um, a girlfriend, I reckon he would... Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, 100%. But I think, yeah. Tully's, he said... He said Tully's a lot like his um his girlfriends that are on the outside. Like his girlfriends. Not... He fuss it's so obvious. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd be like a different a country. Fancy shoebox, like yeah, it is a bit like that, isn't I it? I feel like I'm in a little doll's house. Yeah, it is like that. And you two are the two little dolls, yeah, with weird hair everywhere. <laughs> hair so everywhere. weird. Is your boyfriend over it? My hair. It kind of comes with with the package. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? The games will be fun. Tonight. Yeah. I'm excited. I hope I get through the first round this week. Same. Same. <laughs> I really want the power today. You do? Yes. Oh, do you? Yeah. And I want the night in the presidency. Oh, suit. yeah. Everyone wants that, don't they? I have a feeling my worst case scenario is going to happen today. What's your worst case scenario? Not saying. Say it. No. Go on, Tim. I know what his worst case scenario is. What's oh. that? Not getting up for nomination. No, that's not my worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is I'm up for nomination, but somebody else put me there and they've taken out somebody that I want gone. That I want gone! <laughs> that Pretty girl well or boy? I, you can't say who I want gone. <laughs> okay. No, you're not allowed. You are allowed. You are not allowed. You're allowed to say who you don't want to live with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a feeling it will happen. Who is it? Who do you not want to live with? Is it male or female? I'm not saying. <laughs> I just want Michaela saved. <sighs> yeah. I'm but I don't think that. anyone would do it. Coming up, fancy food for the dinner table. Oh, God, I hate you. That's my favourite thing. But what's the catch? Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Breathe. Go, Jade. Woo! Uh, yeah. Jade's Jade's the all-important showdown games are not far away. With the power to swap a nominee at stake, the housemates are tuning up their skills. Come on, Maddie. <laughs> Come on, go out. Squeak. Ma, went right. Oh! 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 Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right. How good does it feel when you get that one in? Ben, you are looking very tanned. You are, Ben. Yeah. Are you over tanning? Yeah. Are you, cause you, you were just tanning cause everyone else was tanning. Yeah, I just want to fit in. And so now you're just a bit over fitting in. Yeah, I'm gonna Good go back on to you, Ben. I'm gonna go back to just like, oh, you guys Good are stupid. Good on you, Ben. Good on you, Ben. Just be you. Don't even worry about trying to fit in. I don't want to tan. <sighs> I just don't, I don't know what to do in the house. I just don't have any, I don't have any funny stories to tell you. You have plenty of funny ben, stories. Don't. You don't need stories because oh. you are just funny in general. You are hilarious. You make us laugh so much. Oh, you but... know we're always giggling when we're you. are a good audience. You. But we like to sit with you and chat with you and <laughs> hang out with you because you're funny. No, but you know, like, you know, Tim's got stories. He's a dick. Yeah, person, they're made man. up. <laughs> they're not real. I'm using a pulse of liar. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't really have any stories. I, I, I got nothing. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> you're here because you're you. Not yeah. Because you're amazing, Ben. Amazing. You yeah. are. <laughs> no, you are. Um, I'm so amazing. I couldn't get a cleaning job. 
Tully's talking about the photo of her girlfriend that she brought into the house. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Like, yeah, I feel bad for like, 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 like this has made me address like cool, yeah. issues that we have in our relationship that I've just been sleeping under the rug. So it's like just all this like stuff that I have to deal with and yeah, sort out, yeah. and it's just. And you like, will. There's a new like, like backpackers there that's going to be It'll, it'll be out. sorted. Yeah, we've all been in relationships where no relationship is perfect. Half the relationships have problems and you're just more open than other people. Dave. My opinion doesn't matter nor would it help, so. My opinion matters to me. Huh? My opinion matters to me. Yeah, but it still wouldn't help you. It's like, what am I doing? Why does no one love me as much as I love them? I could be corny right now. <sighs> Don't make me do it. I'll be back. This is fine. This is like never Oh, hi! Hi! Once a week, two members of the house play a game to see if they can win the ingredients for a gourmet meal for the house. If they lose, there's a booby prize. <gasps> Pizza shape! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Is that god. all we can have for dinner? Such a jerky! I love it! <laughs> Let's not tell them if we lose. <laughs> oh my god, Jade. This is, we've got to do it. Yep. Heidi and Jade. Yes, yep. big brother. Today's game is called Snakes and Ladders. Oh. As you can see, the ladder is already there next to you. Oh, I go up it. Jade, it's up to you to move five rungs up the ladder to position number one. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, guys. You'll do this by answering questions. Every time you answer correctly, you'll move up one space. <laughs> oh, no. So long as Heidi is holding a snake. <gasps> a black-headed python, to be exact. Oh my gosh, Heidi. Are you joking? Oh my God, is there someone there? Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my God, Wait, 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 wait. Breathe. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Can you do this? Just breathe. It's not going to bite you. Okay, I need to calm myself down. Okay, just down. I hate snakes. Okay, just breathe. Oh help my God, I don't know snake. if I can do it. Okay, I'm going to help you with the snake. I don't All know right. if I can do it, Jane. You can do it. Oh my God, this Look is, I feel sick. Look at head. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's Jade and Heidi, are you ready to play snakes and ladders? <laughs> Ninjas, Ted's gonna be near place me, but the python Don't now. let it, don't let the face near me, please. Okay, just stay as still as possible and you'll Can be you fine. Can you hold the head? I don't want the head. Well, the head, oh, look, shit. see, look where he's holding the head. It's not doing oh anything. God, what am I just doing? Just stay as still as possible. Keep your hands down. Jade, your questions start now. How do snakes okay, eat okay. their prey whole? Don't touch it. Is it A, with plenty oh, of salt and this. pepper? It's okay, don't Or B, okay. they lick their okay, prey until you. it's smaller, mm, kind of like a lollipop? Yeah. We're not even or is it C, they can they dislocate, dislocate their, their jaw. lower jaw. What do I yes, do with that? The last one. See, Excuse they dislocate me, their brother. jaw. It's okay. That's correct, okay, Jade. I can't. Sit down. You I'm may down. move I've got it. up one rung. Heidi. Oh, oh, I can't. It's okay, it's like, okay. It's you're okay. not letting. I can't do this if the snake's moving and I don't know what to do. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've got it. Heidi, hold you're doing fine. Oh, no, it's is a friendly snake. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, but do I hold it like I'm going to strangle it or do I let it slide through me? Just let it slide. You don't understand. It was moving its head near my head. He More just questions. wants to talk, Heidi. I don't More questions. want to talk to him. You're doing so well, darling. You're doing so well. Jade. More questions. Yes, we've Next got question. Which is the name of a real snake? Is it A, an adder? Is it B, a divider? Or is it C, a subtractor? Oh, it's an adder. That's correct. Yes. <laughs> okay, keep going. <clears throat> Jade, Brother. would you like another question? Yes, please. Coming right up. Finish the name of the famous British comedy group, Monty 
Oh, Python. Python. Monty Python. Uh, Big Brother hasn't given you your options yet. <laughs> okay, what are my a, options? Monty Rattlesnake. Excuse okay, it's me, okay, it's Ninja. Okay. Is it B, yeah? Monty Anaconda? Yeah. Or is it C, Monty Python? It's Monty Python, Big Brother, C, Monty Python. That's correct. It That's was okay. C, oh my Monty God, Python. My head. You won't. may move up another rung on the ladder. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm holding a snake. Jade, you're doing really good. I can't okay. deal with this. I'm probably going to pass out. No, you're doing so well, Heidi. Just stay. Don't look at its head. Look it, that way. But it keeps hissing. I know, but it's not going it, it, to... It wants the ninja. It doesn't want you. <laughs> Heidi, is Kaboom heavy? He's really heavy and he's moving on my shoulders right now. He looks a little overweight. He is, and I feel okay, like he's going to attack Jade. any minute. Uh, Kaboom's a friendly snake, Heidi. Attack me. Look at it across my face. Jade. Yes. Your next question. Are you ready for it? Yeah. All right, Jade. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. The rainbow serpent is associated with which era in Aboriginal mythology? Oh, which era? Is Wait. it A, dream time? Is it B, past time? <laughs> or is it C, the land before time? Oh, my I'm God. I'm part Aboriginal, big brother. It's A, dream time. Oh, my Lord. That is 100% correct. Yeah. It was A, dream time. Do I time. hold it? You may progress one more. another rung on the ladder. It's okay. Good girl, good girl. Oh, oh Why God, is it here, big brother? Why is it here? Because it wants the ninja. <laughs> it's touching him. It's biting him. Oh, my God. You're doing so well, Heidi. No, you are. You're doing way better than me. I'm just holding its body. As if this Jade. Is... Yes. The phrase... Snake in the grass oh, most mean? commonly refers to A. Oh, unseen danger snake ahead. B. When one hears a rustle among the bushes. Or C. A malicious person who feigns friendship. S C. A, a malicious person? <laughs> oh my god, it's totally off me now. What do I do? It's okay, just stay still. It just wants the ninja for some reason. <laughs> oh, oh, it's God, okay. Ninja. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If it bites, he it'll he bite me. Okay. But he likes him. Just hop. Jade just, and Heidi, right? congratulations. Oh, oh, God. You have got five correct. Oh, you have won snake. the gourmet ingredients for tonight's family <laughs> oh, dinner. Thank you. Simply superb. Ninjas, remove the snake. <laughs> Coming up, it's time to enter the arena. The high stakes showdown that will put a new housemate on the eviction chopping block. This is Big Brother. Yes. Housemates, it's time to enter the arena. Get ready for Big Brother's Showdown, where the housemates put everything on the line to win the chance to change the game. Housemates, not only will today's winner receive a night in the presidential suite with the housemate of their choice, today's winner will also win a very special privilege. The power to change the future for one very lucky housemate and one unlucky housemate. Oh. Today's winner will again win the right to swap a nominee and finalise this week's nominations. Jeez. It just keeps getting harder. This is Big Brother. Housemates, the first game is called Bucket Chuck. The team to transport the most water into the tub sitting on their scales in five minutes wins and will go through to the next round. Okay, for this all-important round one, it's the orange team versus the purple team. In this water bucket relay, housemates must pump the water and pass it down the line, transferring the water to the last bucket, which is then emptied into the weighing station. Representing the orange team, it's Dashing Drew, Tipsy Tim, H2O Heidi, Jade, Katie, and Bucket's Ben. Black, 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 black. <laughs> On the purple team, there's Catchy Caleb, Mouthwash Michaela, We've got this, guys. Ed, Ed oh, Tahan, Matthew, 
and Trickle Tully. Both teams look like they picked this up very quickly. It's all about which team ends up with the most amount of water. The scales are telling us the orange team just trailing the purple team. And Tim's kicked the bucket. He's not happy with Drew's technique. Yep, you go. Caleb is a firefighter. He should be good with water. Good work, guys. Good work, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, the purple team is clearly ahead. Oh, it looks like the orange team have picked up a trick to this game. It pays not to fill your bucket up completely. Good, good, good. Go, Benny, go. Back, back, back. Waterboy Ben doing a great job. The time is running out. Just a minute on the clock. Okay, the idea here is to get the water in the bucket, not on you. Caleb seems to have changed his technique, but it's not doing him any favours. Good, Shane. Good, Benny. Good. Oh, the orange team look like they might be pulling ahead. Good. Good, Shane. Good. This is Big Brother. Orange team. Your scales register 12.15 litres. Well done, guys. Purple team. Your scales register 10.75 litres. Orange team. Congratulations. You are still in the games. Purple team. You are out of today's showdown. You're so good. You're so good. <laughs> Housemates, the next round, you will see your face on TV. <laughs> on the start buzzer, housemates must run to the central pile of puzzle pieces. Collect one piece at a time and start constructing your puzzle. The first two housemates to complete their puzzle will win this round and progress to today's final. Uh... <laughs> it's a puzzling task for six individuals with 25 pieces each that fit perfectly within the TV screen. Drew, Drew, come on, where's your face, Drew? Come on. Drew, 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 Drew. The final picture is a family photo of all the housemates. And remember, it has to be flush. Now, only two of these housemates will go through to the final. Jay, don't need Jay, don't need Jay. One of the prizes is to spend a night in the presidential suite with a friend of their choice. But what everyone is really playing for is the power to save a nominee from being up for eviction and choose who takes their place. Good work, guys. Go, Ken, careful. Go, Ken, you're killing it. Drew, you're killing it too. Drew, flush. Going hard. Come on, Heidi. Oh my God! Wow, look at this. Come on, Drew, you're so close. No doubt Tully will be hoping Drew wins so she can be saved, or would Drew save Jade? Good job. Go, 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 Good team. Good job. Drew. Yes. Yeah. You completed your puzzle first. Congratulations. You are still in the games. Lucy. Yes. You completed your puzzle next. But that is less of a puzzle yeah. and more of a shamozzle. Yeah. Tim, you completed your puzzle next. Congratulations. Yeah. You are still in the games. Heidi, Ben, Lucy and Jade, you are out. Tim and Drew.
Congratulations for making it through to the final of Showdown. And if you don't mind Big Brother saying, nice undies. Are you ready to dress yes. Yes. for success? Yes, Big Brother. This might look like a bit of clean fun, but the outcome is serious. Who will win the nominee swap power? For this final round, the first one to put on all of their 25 items of clothing and walk through the door wins. Yes, that's so sexy, Drew. Yep, do that, Drew. Oh, nice layering, Tim. Oh, well done. Tim, choosing his items carefully. Like Can't do it up. He, he might have to. He might have to. He might have to do it up. Okay, go. So little good. lady. Beautiful. Oh, looks like Drew's no stranger to getting himself caught up in women's lingerie. Oh my God. <laughs> Interesting strategy from Tim here. He looks like he's saving the bra till later. Just leave it like that. Good dream. Oh, Tim looks so pretty. If I don't want to watch. What is this? Drew, obviously not that experienced at wearing women's clothing. Tim, on the other hand. Tim's outfit looks a little like what Big Brother wore to the Logies this year. Good, Tim. You're on there. It's really hot. All the nominated housemates are hoping the winner will save them from eviction. Oh, okay. well, how's that shirt? That's a whipping shirt. Look how good that shirt is. Good, Tim. Good, Drew. Keep going, Drew. Come on, Drew. Whoever puts on every item and walks through that door first walks away with the power to turn the Big Brother game on its head this week. Tim, <laughs> you have dressed for success. <laughs> Congratulations, Tim. You are the winner of today's showdown. Collect your medal and celebrate with your fellow housemates. Coming up, this is a big decision. Tim has the power. And must not be taken lightly. So who will he save? And who will he sacrifice? The moment all the housemates have been talking about has arrived. There are six nominees up for eviction. One is about to be saved and replaced by someone who wasn't nominated. Tim, you have won the right to save one nominated housemate and sacrifice a safe housemate in their place. This is a big decision and must not be taken lightly. You must swap somebody. Tim, which nominated housemate do you choose to save? Michaela. Ah! <laughs> well done, Michaela. Good work, babe. The cat's right there. <laughs> Got again. The cat's coming back. Michaela. Go, Michaela. You may sit on the green bench. You are safe. Thanks. Tim. Which housemate do you choose? To sacrifice. I knew it! Tim has just made Big Brother history, putting himself up for eviction. I can do that! So, Tim, to be clear, you're sacrificing yourself. Yes, Big Brother. You're prepared to be nominated and face the public vote for eviction, Tim. Yes, Big Brother. <laughs> no guts, no glory. Tully, 
Jade. <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Ed. <laughs> and Tahan. The nominations are now final. That means one of you will be evicted from the Big Brother house. <sighs> Don't make friends. Nope. <clears throat> good. Ah, good. Is that Slack saying that we were hoping she'd go? No, because she was our strongest hope, Jade. Tully is talking about Michaela, who's been saved yet again. The cat's checks again. Ah. <laughs> Michaela, whatever could you mean? Oh, God. Okay, so uh, four weeks in a row of being nominated by my fellow housemates and I've only faced eviction once. Again, I've... I've, I've been saved. Tim, you're so interesting. Uh, you're intriguing. <laughs> I've never met anyone like you. Oh, guys, shut up. <laughs> it's not why I did that. So he didn't do it to be nice, is what he's saying. No, he didn't. He's doing it to control the game. That's oh. why he, what he's done from the start. He's smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I saw that coming. I, I didn't that coming. see. I saw. I thought. Okay, if he's going to be strategic, and and ask, he will do that, which he did. Yeah. But to be honest, he does have some friends on that bench, and I was thinking, come on, a little bit of a little bit of friendship. No. Nah. When does he ever think like, of friendship? Michaela's one of the only ones on that bench besides Jade, who actually I feel um, needs me in the house. And I really, it feels really nice to have her come up to me and say, what are you doing, Tim? Come and sit with me. I, I want to chat to you. And, um, yeah, so she's a good friend of mine. And she said that today. She's a mate. It's funny that he put himself in. Like, that's a yeah. gutsy move. That's gutsy. No, that's... it's not gutsy because he's popular. Yeah, I suppose. But I still wouldn't do that's it. It's not even gutsy. If to thought... us, it looks gutsy. And we all go, oh, Tim. You did throw under a bus. Oh, God, you're so admirable. It's like, no, yeah, he's a sure bet. And so that brings me to the second reason why I saved her, because I knew that out of anyone on that bench, her being saved again would just infuriate everybody else. They, um, last week especially, they, they seemed to have thought that Michaela was going home. And so I knew that saving her today would just, yeah, really anger and... And it did, it did. A lot of people got quite cranky and, and Tully was so upset and said things like, oh, I invested so much time into Tim. Ooh, whatever, Tully, like... Is there a reason? Yeah, it's there. It's up. funny, I reckon it's funny, dude. Well, I just like to decide my own fate in life. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's a hard team up there. Can we have a shower, team. Big Brother? That's the strongest team so far. That's it. That's all right. Whoa. You upset someone, Tim. You bet. I upset someone. <laughs> There's no rules. There's, There's no, no rules. There's no rules. There's no rules. There's no rules. Matthew, what do you think of Tim sacrificing himself for nomination? I reckon he's a very... Cocky, I'd say. He's obviously going to have a lot of confidence in himself to do it. Do you think Tim's decision was made deliberately to annoy housemates? Yep, 100%. And it's already worked, and it's working, and it's going to continue to work. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me one bit. I don't really care. Yes, that alarm is like little hide is it? To get people talking about him day in, day out. Yeah. 
Mate, he, he, the thing is, what he's doing to us is making us go, oh, my God, look at him, because he believes that he's stronger than all of you guys. Yeah, good on him. He can... And that, but that's what I mean. He's psych, it's a psychology game to him. Definitely. I don't know. And that. that's what no one's getting. You have to keep him close to you. Mm. If you keep doing what you're doing, he'll eventually cut you, though. No, no. He'll have to. Until this war ends. You've got to play him in his own game. Hmm? You've got to play him in his own game. Well, I can't do that. You have to. I don't know You're smarter him. than him. I'm not. You are. That's science. There's no science in here yet. I never That's came true. in here to play the game. If I was playing like a snake, then I wouldn't be happy with myself. Coming up. I'm going to be like, oh, look, there's the cat and dog playing together. I don't think she would hesitate to throw me under the bus. To save Caleb, call 1902-559502. SMS Caleb to 199-5599. Or vote on Facebook. To save Ed, call 1902-559504. SMS Ed to 199-5599. Or vote on Facebook. Tim's decision to save Michaela and put himself up for eviction is still the talk of the house. Tully's never going to talk to me again, is she? Mm, she'll get over it. She always does. Heidi. Tully. Oh, probably not. <laughs> she'll yes. get over it. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I, does she expect to be saved, though? I think she does. <laughs> she did, I think. Yeah, of course she did. She said you do, she's done a lot for you. Yes, she has. Made my life hell in here. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> I don't understand what she's... <laughs> I love you, Tim. What has she done for you? Oh, exactly. Look, she stands up a lot for me, just like Jazz did. I stand up for you as well, just FYI. But that's because I, I don't care what... I don't care if you are, you know, who, whatever you do. I still hmm, I like you for here. whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know why I like I don't know why. Hey, you. Tim. Right yes. here, mate. I don't mind. <laughs> And can't high five him. Oh, Good. Shot. My go. I'm giving it to you. He's dangerous. So, Drew. Yeah. Tell Big Brother a little about what you think of Tim's choices today. Uh, Tim, 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 Tim. I keep saying this and, I, and it keeps on getting stronger and stronger in my head. I've never met anyone like him and the worst thing is I don't know if I'm, I've even met Tim really or unless this is just the big brother version of Tim. I know, I know he's crafty. Um, he's definitely manipulative, um, which I like. I love, and I love that side of him. I think it's, it's quite, it's quite interesting to nearly see the eye of the storm because that's essentially what he is in here. You know, most people will go, "Oh, wow, Tim, like such a admirable." honourable like, act, like sacrifice himself, which it is, definitely is, like, to have that. But you don't think Tim made that decision for those reasons? Oh, no, I don't. I love him, but I don't think so. Because he doesn't care about pride or glory or looking the hero. I think, honestly, if you gave him the choice, he would play the villain if you, you gave him that choice. But I'm thinking maybe he's sacrificing Tully by making conflict during the week, which I think is what he did with Jazz, which is quite clever, because I would not, never even think to conjure that up. So You're making Tim sound like somewhat of a puppet master. He is. He definitely is. Oh, even more than that. Verging on Sorcerer. Um, 
he, if, yeah, he just, he, he just yeah, gets in there and makes the puppets dance. I loved him, and he's been a big help for me. And he's really fun, but I've got to watch him because when it's my time to go, I think it'll be up to him more than anything else. Emma Kelly, you know that you don't owe me anything. And I did it not because I think you're me. going. I did it because you spend time with me. And out of everyone on that bench, you're the only one that's pulled me aside and said, let's go talk, or... Mm. I really appreciate that. You're my mate, Tim. Yeah. Do you... Oh, God. What? I think Drew's gonna hate me. What for? Tully's going home. <laughs> you don't. I think I'm going, darling. You are not, Jade. I think I really am. 100% you're not. I hope you're right. I know I haven't been wrong yet about the group. Haven't you? About, not, about eviction. Okay, I thought Jazz was going instead of Sharon, but I knew that they were interchangeable. Anyway. I don't think Drew... Like, it was your choice. It wasn't Drew's choice. And Drew needs to back off because people are starting to get really, like... I really don't... Like, I'll talk to him about this, but people are starting to go... Drew is spending... All his time in the house, constantly comforting Tali, and they're sick of it. But I don't know if that. But is that his fault or her fault? Like, no, it's his fault for putting so much into it. Like, it's not. No, oh, he's coming. Yeah, yeah, it's just general stuff. Ooh. Here's the cat. I'm going to be like, oh, look, there's the cat and dog playing together. Mm. Be happy, just be wary. Oh, I like that. What? Yeah, I like that a lot. Of him. He doesn't own me. Just make I know that. I thought you said... He doesn't own me. What, did you think I thought he fought you down the pawn shop? For five dollar? For ten dollar. <laughs> Heidi and Michaela have often shared jokes in Asian accents, but in today's atmosphere, Michaela is not in the mood for it. Heidi has... I don't know, I'm... I still can't decide how to think... what to think of Heidi. I mean, throughout this whole process, I have felt an incredibly strong amount of loyalty to her. But today she's shown a few sides that I've kind of thought to myself, well, why... Why am I feeling this loyalty towards her when I don't think she would hesitate to throw me under the bus? She's brainwashed. Hey. Like I was just no like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna help her now because I know she'll go back and tell him straight Absolutely away. Not. Too dangerous. Way too dangerous. But, see, okay. The thing is, I feel like <clears throat> me and her have had a connection through from the start. But I'm like, when I just said that, she was like, he doesn't own me. I was like. Yeah. Like, I was just telling you to be wary. Mm. That's all. Yeah, exactly. Like... No, stop. Cause, yeah, yeah, I know, because I'm like... So many little birdies flying around and tweeting back to him. Well, I know there's two. Mm. Okay, we're in tea. Mm-hmm. Two loves him. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. You go put some clothes on. Two. Yeah. Love him. So I'll uh, stop right that there now. Hi. I won't be giving her help again ever again. No. Coming up. It's war. There will be a mutiny, big brother. I will be leading that mutiny. To save Jade, call 1902 555 SMS Jade to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. To save Tahan, call 1902 SMS Tahan to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. Hello, 
Australia and welcome to The Sleekest Link, the makeover show where style sisters Katie and Lucy go head to head by giving these two scruffy male housemates a complete style revival. Lucy, how do you think Caleb will scrub up? I think he looks pretty good as is, but we can definitely do some work. Today, housemates, our winning stylist will take away this incredible beauty hamper packed hey! with all the Maybelline products a girl could ever wish for. Oh my God. <laughs> we need to. <laughs> okay. Yay! Katie and Lucy, your 15 minutes starts now. I'm going to sleek it all back. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay. I just tried to say to Michaela, be wary of Tim. Now I know she's going to say something to him. So I'm going to just deny it. Who cares? Should I do that? Yeah, do it. But will I go, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, make it look bad then. <laughs> Manipulate it. Don't so you? that's what I'll say. So if he says something, Definitely. will I just go, what? Yeah, so I've been with that the whole time. Just go, that's good advice, why does it yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then say, but it's funny you say that because she said to me. That... <laughs> We're just going to go a little trimsy. I have no okay. idea. A little trimsy. <laughs> okay. This is going to look amazing. <laughs> oh, ladies. <laughs> and what are you going to dress me in? <laughs> what should we go for? I'm playing him now. Not move. I'm a little <laughs> bit nervous. It is It is something that I haven't it's done fabulous. before. It's fabulous. Caleb, how What's is the look oh, feeling? Oh, it looks feeling. It's feeling rather stiff at the moment, my okay. head. This is Big Brother. All housemates to the lounge. Oh. I always think it's now up to the housemates to decide which sister has done the best makeover. Ben's are usually pretty, pretty nice. Oh. Oh. Can they see you? Oh. The sexy schoolboy. We're going for the young and sexy look. And here we have Tim looking very sexy <laughs> indeed. Here he's, 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 he's got a new hairstyle completely. Doesn't <laughs> look too bad. I'm not hating it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Housemates, it's time to vote Caleb. now. Caleb, Caleb. The results are in. With nine votes, the winners are Lucy and Caleb. <laughs> Worst stylist ever. <laughs> Lucy, yeah. from Big Brother's very good friends at Maybelline, that oh beauty goodness. hamper belongs to you and you alone. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's amazing. It's war. Is that so telling? It is. And I'm the only person that feels that way. Tim um, either is or thinks he is running this show. There will be a mutiny, big brother. There will be a mutiny. And if I survive Monday, and I bloody well hope I do, I will be leading that mutiny. He tried to push my buttons. He tried to get me upset. He tried to start a fight with me today, just like he did to Jasmine. But it's too late. I see what he's doing, I see what he did to Jasmine, and I'm not having it done to me. I refuse. He had little words in Xavier's ear, and Xavier left. He had little words in Jasmine's ear, and Jasmine left, and he's been trying to do it to me. I will fight. I don't know if I can win, but I will fight. It sounds like a house divided once more, Tully. Behind closed doors, maybe, but I know that everybody's keeping a happy face. They're just going to start playing Tim back at his own game, and I can't wait to watch. I think um, this way it's going to be pretty hectic. I think the emotions and just everything. There's obviously tallies. Just, I can, this week's going to be... Emotional. Yep. That's why I'm scared, and there's, like, four key guys. No, there's only three guys up. Oh, Ed, three guys. Sorry, three guys Tim. and three girls. You've been saved. How many times have you been saved? Twice. Well, three times too. you count the double eviction. Twice. Yeah, you're a threat too. But I'm scared. Like, I don't want to keep going up. Like, people keep wasting... Be honest. Why am I keep... Why am I getting nominated every week? Be I don't honest. know. I don't know. Wouldn't have a clue. But that's the thing. And then I'm like, I don't even know if I'm doing enough. If I'm like, interesting enough. Like, I don't know. Like, you can't be as bored as Jade. Trust me. Well, that's... Uh, Jade does not. Jade does nothing. But she keeps saying she's... She's... Her looks and her body gets her through 
life because that's what she is. She's not, I don't find her attractive at all. I think she's stunning. I think her body's amazing. She has a good body. I don't throw, yeah. I don't throw her face. I don't think she's attractive. Really? I think she's, I think she's hot. But I do think she's a little bit dry. Mm. Like, I can't get past, you know. Yeah, I can't. I just can't get a good conversation out of her. Yeah. Tahan, what's the problem? Just my hair's not right. It's dried, like, fluffy and yucky. See, look at it. Like, look at that. It just looks terrible. But if I have a hair dryer, I can fix that situation. You want your hair to be blow dried? Yes. Is that correct? It's correct. If your hair was blow dried, would that mean a lot to you? Yes, and I'd feel a lot better about myself. On this one occasion, Big Brother can make arrangements. Yes. For you to blow dry your hair. <gasps> Big Brother agrees to Han does need her hair blow-dried. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, do we get to do it? No volume. Yes. Tim, Matthew, Drew and Ben, stand up. Oh my God! <laughs> Go to Tahan, surround her and blow on her hair gently. Stop! <laughs> 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 Kids at a birthday party. Like, ah. Coming up. Oh, they obviously like each other. Cheating, that, that's cheating for sure. That's cheating 100%. To say Tim, call 1902 SMS Tim to 199 or vote on Facebook. To say Tully, call 1902 SMS Tully to 199 or vote on Facebook. Oh. As the winner of Showdown, Tim gets to spend a night in the presidential suite and he's about to announce which housemate would join him. Let's get ready to rock and roll, Tim! Let's destroy that place! <laughs> Tim, why don't you take me? I was so waiting for that invite. Yeah. Uh, the jury said you, you would have taken Tim if had you won today. And I'm beginning. Can you have fun, boys. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, toilet You have this double bed to yourself. Presidential suite. Mock. Oh, holy <laughs> moly! It smells like curry. There's like tigers. No one said oh. there was tigers. Look at this rock. Nobody told me about this rock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Roses. Who cares? These are ours. <laughs> Trash it! <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. We made it. That bloody time. It's been, yeah, I must admit. It is, you know, it does make me feel presidential. It's like a gentleman's club. Yeah. Wow. I don't even live here. Oh. No Ed and Jade snuggling. Doing no, little... that'll... Well, Oh. Still, and what was the first pet's name? <laughs> oh. What does your mum do? What was the colour oh. of your letterbox at the house That's that you grew up? What, what was your last girlfriend like? <laughs> no, Caleb, snoring. Oh, yeah. No, Tully going. What are you doing? She does crack it a lot, it does. Um, Drew was sitting next to Tully, obviously, close, and had his arm, one arm on the table and one arm down. I thought this is sus, and then you know I was playing the dog? Yeah. I was playing the dog, looked under the table, and I seen him had his hand and the inside of her leg holding her, holding her leg, file like that. On who? On Tully's leg. Really? For like five, ten minutes, mate. Yeah. Inappropriate well, place. What else, yeah, what else would it be, mate? In an inappropriate place. Just holding a leg. Mm. I was just like... For a, it's just she's got a girlfriend. Mate, it's disrespectful, mate. It is disrespectful. What's, 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 she, what's she doing? What's she, it's not Drew's fault, it's her fault. Well, it's Drew, Drew's fault too, mate. Well, yeah, it is Drew's fault, because Drew knows she's got a girlfriend. What's, it's just um, disrespect, and I've lost respect for him because of that. But uh, Drew knows she's got a girlfriend, though. Mm. Yeah. Well, it is both their faults, then. What is that, though? What they've got? Yeah. Oh, they obviously like each other. If you've ever said that to Charlie, she would look crack at you. 
Yeah. Like, she'd crack it if she heard us talking about this now. So, I just don't believe in any of that stuff, mate, and I reckon it's... I don't believe in any of that either. Cheating, that, that's cheating, for sure. That's cheating 100%. I'm against it, mate, so much. And I don't like people that do it that I know. No, the other person's got a partner. Yeah. Anyway. Drew said he goes for those chicks, didn't he? They both told they they both told each other that they're their own kind. But well, that's who they'd go for. Have they? Yeah. Oh. I know it's none of my business, but I just don't like it no, at all. Terrible. You yeah. have to fold up or like yeah. go into here. We're going to have to be in like a little love triangle. Get rid of this crap. Yeah, European pillows. Get uh, out. <laughs> nah, she's a cool girl. Tells. She is. Like. If I didn't think she influenced the boys, I would have no problem with her. Do you reckon she does? Yeah, I think she does. She does a little bit. They're just sheep. Yeah. Charlie was saying how Drew's not blinded to the fact of what Tim does. And I said, no, oh, what do you... I said, of course he is. And he, he is. said, no, no, he's not. He switched onto it. And I said... Who said that, Tully? Yeah, Tully. Uh, uh, Tully and Heidi both said that. And then I said, well, he's got to be careful because um, you tarnish with the same brush. If, exactly. Completely tarnish with the same brush. What do you mean? Oh, well, I, I, I don't... To if he hangs around with I don't, I don't him, really then trust Drew either. Tim's actions oh, no. reflect on Drew. Like, Ed is so worried about if he was to have a night of passion with Jade and then all of a sudden, like, she got clingy or whatever. He's so worried about the worst-case scenario and him looking like a scumbag. They don't say what they really want to say. Yeah. Hardly ever. Yeah. Hardly ever. Yeah. And to me, that's vanilla. Yeah. Well, it's no guts. No. Coward. Okay. There's just so much running through my head right now. I've got like a thousand different activities. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Coming up. We need Ed and Jade to hook up. It's the only way to knock Ed down a few notches. This week's game show task now has contestants Jade and Tahan entertaining the audience with a touchy new twist. The rules are simple. The contestants get blindfolded and must identify various body parts belonging to our sexy male models using only their sense of touch. As always, Feel or No Deal is hosted by the ever glamorous Tully. Feel or no deal. Woo! Now, ladies, make sure those are nice and tight and that you can't see anything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll place you next to our dashing male model just over here. Have a good feel, ladies. Do they feel like sexy earlobes? Ooh. One I'm more impressed to Jay. I thought we had a connection at the start. I know, I thought we did too. I'm well sorry. done, ladies. Jade, you've got that one. Okay, yeah. There's still time for you, yeah? Yeah. Nice and tight. Tense, tense, tense. Have a good feel. Feel the whole foot. Yeah, yeah, feel yeah, the yeah. toes. Oh! oh. Again. oh. We have some different answers here. Ladies, the feet you both felt were, in fact, Matt. <laughs> your feet are, like, small. And yours are long. I don't know Two points oh, to Jade. All right, nice and dark, ladies. Nice and Wait. dark. <laughs> so we can't even touch the bicep. Yes, yes. nothing else. Oh, I love the tense in. I love how that's going to tense. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some very nice bicep, Tully. 
that makes Jade the winner of today's <laughs> We need Ed and Jay to hook up. I would like to see it. It's the only way to knock Ed down a few notches. As long as he's unobtainable, yeah. he's still perfect. Yeah. They, they lap it up over anything. What? There's not a thing he, he could talk about cutting oh. his toenails. I know, oh. when, he's, when he answers things, they're like, oh, Ed, that's so sweet. I just think, wasn't that great? Wasn't that great, yeah, like exactly. He said some good things, you're like, oh, of course you'd say that. But now he's built that like, sort of level, and they give it to him too easy. But there's so much swooning that goes on in here. Just mm -hmm. swoon, swoon, swoon. Oh, it makes me sick. I think everyone... Oh! It's over. Mr. Clooney, come on, let's go to bed. Come on. Mr. Clooney, the house pet, sleeps beside Michaela in the second bedroom, but he can be a little reluctant to go to bed. Oh my god, everything's a game with this dog. I know. <laughs> he is so much quicker. He's got no clue, hasn't he? Why is he doing this? Get in here now, Mr. Clooney. What is that? Good. Come on. Go, oh, Mr. Clooney. Mr. Clooney! Look at that fat. Yeah. Oh, I got him! Yay! Got ya! I love Clooney. You're going so fast, Mr. Clooney. You're still running on me. Oh, good boy. I love how you're threatening with that. Good night, guys. Mm. See you in the morning. Good night. Good night, Ed. See you guys. Good night. Kiss away and cuddle away. I'll just nap here, see me, this away. So that rhymes. Oh, Mr. Clooney. It wasn't Mr. Clooney. Oh, look, look, show me. All right, I'll let you see you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mr. Clooney. See you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night, Good night, Caleb. 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 Did you French kiss? Oh my god, you can see it. Do you French kiss? He still says French kiss all the time. What do you mean? Yeah, like, so oh, hash, hash. <laughs> Did you just do it? Maybe just a little. Aww. Aww. That's so cute. cute. I love Aww. Ben's facial expressions. So, I'm like. <laughs> 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 I love his facial expressions as well. I was like, oh, Ben. Katie's like, I'll just watch from here, right next to you. <laughs> I feel like a neighbour kind of, you know. <laughs> I've watched a lot. That, that was really cute. We've all watched it like a like a blossoming friendship yeah. happen within the house, and you can never have enough affection and friends. To save Caleb, call one nine zero two double five nine five zero two. SMS Caleb to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. To save Ed, call one nine zero two double five nine five zero four. SMS Ed to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. To save Jade, call one nine zero two double five nine five zero six. SMS Jade to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. To save Tahan, call one nine zero two double five nine five one three. SMS Tahan to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. To save Tim, call one nine zero two double five nine five one four. SMS Tim to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. To save Tully, call one nine zero two double five nine five one five. SMS Tully to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook.